Hello, welcome to the next video on tutorial on Python Lawn ML video series. So, after we have learned about for loops and while loops, basically, you, if you are following my tutorial, we have already learned about for loop and while loop in Python. So, after that, we will be learning about nested loop in Python. So, how can we use loop inside a loop? So, a loop inside another loop, another loop inside a loop, that is for inside a for or while inside a while. So, uh, if you have noticed in my last tutorial, I had mentioned about do while loops. So, basically, we do not use do while loops in Python, it's not as usually required. Okay, so let's uh, do a basic review on for loops. So what we did here was in start value, um, step, uh, step value, and uh, step value. Okay. So print i. What it prints out? Let's check. Prints out all the odd numbers. Okay. And so if we want to do the same thing using while loop, how can we do that? So if you remember, start of assign the starting value to our variable and check if the variable meets the stopping condition okay and so if it meets print the value of a and increment it by how much the star value here is 2 so if we need the same output increment by 2 okay same output 13579 so this covers the basic review about for and while loops so how can we do the nested for loops now? Let's see. Okay, I want to bring the multiplication table from one to ten. So multiplication of one to one to one to ten and two into so similarly three is so four and two is ten. So how can I do that? So at first I will assign like setting values to be one. So I need till ten. That means the stopping condition should be eleven and the increments will be one okay so and i need another loop for that so because if the value of i is one then i need another multiplier for it like one into one so one is here and another one should be j so it should also contain the same thing so what it happens here is when the value of i is one the values of j is also one then until the condition for the inner loop is terminated it doesn't go for the outer loop okay here yeah. so what happens is pre i and uh, to this format the output so it can be easier for us to read to j is equals to i into j yeah. okay and uh, let's give a uh, next line of it so when the multiplication for one is finished this will be a line gap and the multiplication for two will start okay so you can see here yeah? multiplication one and a gap one line multiplication two and gap another three so we need uh, ten yeah so this is very pretty Okay, what it does here is the uh, value of i is 1 here and it enters the inner loop and first the value of i is this also 1 so 1 into 1 equals to 1 into 1 that is 1 here so j should run until the value of j is 10 so it increments the value to 3 and 4 and similarly 10 it terminates and the value of i is changed to 2 and similarly again the value of j is 1 so it iterates only until the outer loop terminates okay. the inner loop is executed until the outer loop terminates so that's the very similar but pretty okay now we can do the same thing using a while so see here in the first for loop we have a starting condition and a stopping a stopping condition here so give a starting condition one and the stepping condition should be while a less than 
love it yeah. or you can do hell this time equals to ten also okay okay now you you have finished the criteria for the first loop now we need the second loop here second loop also has a starting condition so you need a second variable that should store one the start, starting condition for your second loop and so for similar it also has a stopping condition like you can give here well p this time equal to 10 okay i'll give less than you are so um, you can be cleared about how these two works here yeah. now what i'll do here is now i should do i can do the same thing here i can copy and paste yeah okay now okay here the inner loop the value is incremented by one so in the inner loop i should increment the value of the variable by one now come out from the inner loop okay. then increment the value of outer loop by one and print a new line after each after the multiplication for a number is completed okay. let's see okay a zero like i sorry I copy paste it, but my variable is A and B here. Okay, now it should work. Yeah. See, we have the same output for the types. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, similarly till 10. while what can be done with for can be done with why it is basically open you to choose which loop you use okay what seems familiar to you or what seems easy to you you use the loop okay. so but i prefer for to while because it is simple it's very easy it can be completed in lesser lines as you can see here so it can one two three four five six seven eight lines here one two three four lines only so it's basically it is to half when you use the third okay okay thank you for watching if you have any confusion please comment and subscribe and like to my video thank you